and we are back again in the basement of the Bison Steve Hotel because we're looking for Bison Steve. This looks like a bedroom. It could be my bedroom, or it could be Steve's bedroom. I don't know for sure. But anyway, the place is all fixed up. We got people in suits, and the lights are on, and there's plants. Also, some casino gambling stuff. It's pretty neat. Christmas lights, fountain. Almost Doesn't sound nice. like everybody's having a lot of fun, though. Very quiet for a casino. I gotta talk to Steve about putting on some music in this place. Maybe hiring live entertainment if we can afford it. Man, I can't find Steve anywhere. For weeks he's just been standing in the same place. Oh, hang on, Pip Boy says I passed him. I hope someone opened oh, you Steve, I didn't recognize you in your suit. Ah, you look like you have good news on those supplies. Maybe we'll get a steak after all. I have no idea. I didn't ask, but I did pay for it. Well, that does it, partner. We're officially open for business. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I wish Granny and Buck was here. Maybe world will get to them somehow. I bet you noticed a new interest when you came in. Looks nice, huh? Yep. The artwork and a few more decorations from Michelangelo's came in while he's gone. So we was able to get all that finished and had enough stuff for a little pizzazz out front. So, I see we got customers, but no food. Word got out we was almost done. We had folks waiting outside for the doors to open. Oh. The rooms open, casino up and running, and folks going through the buffet like a little cattle line. We have no food. Ooh, it's been a wild ride. I cannot believe that someone in the wasteland had a practical plan. Well, I sure can. I noticed something about you when that bullet didn't kick your bucket for you. Like the kind of feeling you get when you know you got the other guy's hand beat no matter what, you know? No matter what he does, you just know you're gonna beat him. Thanks. Sometimes I worry the bullet made me stupid, so that helps. Yeah, I know, partner, I know. Well, how about a little prescription that might pep you up when the old noggins are ailing you? Um. You got your own private safe in there behind the cashier counter. Cool. Every week, we'll put your share of the profit from that week in it for you. Cool. And of course, as a partner, you get a specially high winning limit whenever you feel like gambling. I'll be working the floor, so I'm sure we'll see plenty of each other. Oh, uh, I have one last surprise for you. In addition to your weekly earnings, I thought your own private suite would be a nice token of my appreciation. After all, none of this would have been possible without your help. I had a stock with most of the comforts the Mojave has to offer. So make yourself at home whenever you feel like it. Thank you again, partner. Now go enjoy yourself. You've earned it. I'll see you around, partner. All right. See you around, Steve. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now I got my own stake in a disconcertingly quiet casino. I sure hope the place doesn't go out of business. Hey, look who's here. Why, yes, it is me, Queen Latifah. Hello, Dr. House. How's it going, bud? If not for you, President Kimball would be dead. So you needn't feel guilty when the NCR's route from Hoover Dam demolishes his political career. Ah, now I do feel guilty. Okay, what's next? The Legion has nothing left to wait for. Their assault on the dam could begin at any moment. Before that happens, I'll ask you to complete one other task. It may seem trivial, but that's far from the case. Okay. Between the Strip and Helios One lies the El Dorado Electrical Substation. Humble as it appears, the substation has immense strategic value, for it's there that you'll jumpstart the Lucky 38's dormant reactor. Gain access to the substation's control room and install this override module. Just so you know, there are NCR troops guarding the station. Oh, it should be cool. I mean, I saved their president, so, you know, I'll take care of it. With this accomplished, all preparations will have been made. The battle for Hoover Dam will be upon us before long. Oh gosh. Okay. I'll go do this thing. So, I guess there's my substation. It's a block of gray surrounded by tons of brown, and it looks like it's in ruins. Just like everything else. Without a doubt, the place is probably covered in trash, and it's a miracle that it works. But here it is. Hello, sir! I am here to inspect your power station. This is a routine visit from the savior of the president. Um... The transmission cables are all under Yeah, good thing about the power underground. Otherwise, otherwise this is against the rules coming in here, I guess. Okay, so they all just sleep on the floor. You're outstaying your welcome. What? Outstaying my welcome? 
No, I just walked into the room and they told me to help the president. They trusted me with the president's life off the cuff. I'm just in here in your little substation. Give me a second. I'm gonna go. Oh, what? She looked at the computer. She's a bad guy. This is very fickle. Stay out of the control room and enclosure or there's gonna be trouble. Got it? Okay, got it. I'm leaving. I'm headed out. The power transmission cables are all underground. Good thing or the war might have knocked them down. Uh, and yes, thank you for that urgent- What? What? You t shoot on sight now? What happened? Guys, my relationship with the NCR has been nothing but benevolent. You should have told me to go away when I walked up to the door. I mean, come on, I have got keys to places in Camp McCarran where no one else is supposed to go. You trusted me with your president's life. I didn't even have to ask if you wanted to help, you just assumed I was on board. When I went to Helios 1, you told me to go down in the basement and just talk to your staff there. That was cool. The president, that's one thing, but oh my gosh, this little substation, holy crap. This, this now, this is the, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. I activated a stockpile of killer robots below Little Caesar's no fort. He didn't care. This substation has got to be the most volatile place. As you can see, Vegas is humming along. I've tested my C3I broadcasting arrays. Everything is in order. And just in time, as it turns out, the forces of Caesar's Legion are on the march, establishing a staging area east of the dam. Their assault could begin at any moment, so that's where you'll be heading, if you're ready. Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam? You want me to go there? What's my goal? Your objective is to reach a control room halfway across the dam and install an override module similar to the one you used at the substation. The override will enable me to control the entire dam's power output. You may remember how the bunker at the fort was rather dimly lit. Well, just like the Lucky 38, it needs a big jolt of electricity to power up. You've already uploaded the new operating system to the Securitrons. All they need is power and they'll be in fighting trim. Oh, you maybe should have had me do this before the fighting started, but... Okay, let's do it. We've accomplished a great deal, you and I. One last task and our work is complete. I'll see you in the control room. Okay, Mr. House. See you there. Be warned, says the Pip-Boy. You are about to commit for Mr. House. He is the only one who is actually not angry at me right now, I think. So I guess I don't have any other choice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna install the thing. But Raul, if I die, I also want a mariachi band. Okay, let's agree. If one of us dies, we will hire a mariachi band. Oh, shoot. That exploded. I don't know what caused it to explode. Probably sabotage, if past experience is anything to go on. I feel like probably half the NCR is spies for the Legion. And oh my gosh, it looks like here's Little Caesar's army advancing on the dam! A grand total of three dudes! Usually they send more than that to assassinate me on a regular basis! Maybe they should have saved up those, like, groups of five that they used to send at me all the time, and they should have saved them for the dam. Oh well, too late now. These three guys will take everything if I weren't here. And over here on the NCR side, we've got a grand total of three rangers! Or at least one ranger and some other guys that are dressed a little bit differently than normal. And they are pulling out the stops for this battle. Meanwhile, on Team Queen Latifah, we've got three heavily experienced soldiers, one cyborg, and one robot on wheels, with a grenade launcher. Also, I've got a grenade launcher. I don't know what I was expecting. I think armies. I'm pretty sure we had a bigger crowd when the president showed up. Then again, the dam is on fire. Not real sure how that happened. I guess they're throwing napalm? I'm not seeing any bodies, though, so how did these fires get here? Also, all these sandbags are set up already, so that... Guys! Guys! Queen Latifah over here! Please do not fire random grenades in my direction! What, Cass? Do I have something on my face? Did you turn around and- Thank you! Goodness sake! What were you thinking about, anyway? Do I have, like, a pimple? Should I try to pop it? Man, how much combat do you have to see to wind up staring off into space and not even notice a guy shooting at you behind you? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, hey, it's that bomber I dragged up. Guys, don't bomb the actual dam! I'm trying to walk on it! Are you crazy? What if you broke the dam and we all died? Bomb their base camp! That's why you have the bomber! We can reach the dam, we are fighting on it! 
You don't use napalm bombs for close air support. If I knew that's what you were gonna do, I would have looked for an A-10. Oh my gosh, this is the culmination of everything that I've worked for in the Mojave. I help out these people and they say, yeah, Queen Latifah, we'll help you out when the time comes. And then they come barging in like a drunk toddler with a Molotov cocktail. I don't know why I thought it would have a different character than this. Every interaction I've had with these people up till now has pretty much strongly indicated that that's what it was going to be like. I don't know, I just figured like the final battle on the dam, everyone has been preparing for it. Surely everybody would have some big plan for this thing. Hey guys, I'm going back here. Oh my god. Hey, that's Queen Latifah's gang. I hear that she was implicitly trusted with the president's life. Somebody stop her with extreme prejudice and violence. Well, you guys didn't have to die, but you chose this. I knew you'd make it. Resourceful as always. The override module is functioning properly. I'm rerouting power to the Securitron vault at the fort as we speak. I just need you to head over to the east power plant and manually activate the switch. When you return topside, I think you'll see that my Securitron army is a little more than the Legion was prepared to handle. Oh, and before you go, grab that printout spooling from the console here. Those papers set the terms for the NCR's unconditional surrender. I thought you might enjoy the honor of presenting them to the NCR's commanding officer once the Legion has been defeated. Cheers. Okay. You know, I'm actually not really thrilled about presenting that to the NCR's commanding officer. I can imagine the temper tantrum. Those guys in the control room tried to hit me with a hammer. I used to be part of their team, you know. You touch a few computers and the whole world just turns on you. Seriously. But anyway, it looks like Dr. House's robot army is a grand total of, like, two Securitrons over here. So everyone's definition of army is really, really loose. Although then again, maybe the bulk of the army still isn't here yet. Still, looks like two Securitrons beats three Centurions. Even though I did help a bit. So I guess this base camp is set up within, like, seeing distance from the dam? Which is funny, because there was a great big artillery gun at the dam, which implies that they should have been able to direct it towards this base. Not that it would have hit much, I guess, because there's only, like, three to six people around. Regardless, you think that would be discouraging to the Legion. They might fall back a little bit. So here's the one guard at the gates. Not even at the gates, kind of some distance away from the gates. I guess maybe he was on a lunch break. Maybe the whole army's on lunch break. I see they've got all their telephone pole crucifix things here, but nobody on them. Maybe those guys are on lunch break too. Boy, imagine how creepy this would be if there was all kinds of people strung up on those crucifixes. I would be scared to come in here. But they didn't do that, so it's not so bad. These guys really need to get some flaming sandbags set up though. They work so well on the dam. Looks like there's soldier number two, occupying this whole base all by himself. Guarding that far wall over there. I guess that must be an important place for me to go. Check it out, that guy had a pair of sunglasses. He is too cool for school. Well, I would expect traps given the way the Legion usually operates. Maybe just more guys hanging around? Anything, really, I mean, come on. Hello, Legionaries. Me and my four-man gang have completely outnumbered your army base. I think you guys are screwed. Like, I'm not sure, but I think I just overran everything. And, um, completely swept your arm. Oh, there's one more guy. Oh, he's got special fancy armor on. No shoulder pads for this guy. Somebody actually grabbed some bronze and they hammered out some armor and then completely neglected to tell this guy that that is not going to stop bullets. And on for your Vegas. Yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of cowards. Could you please take off your Santa helmet while we're talking? Otherwise, this is going to be really silly. If no, can can I talk to Kaisar? Kaisar's will is made truth through me. I am a hammer against all that defy his rule. Oh, a hammer. If you seek to stand against me, you shall fall as the West falls. Okay, Santa. If you don't mind, let's talk about your position here, okay? I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Yeah, about weapons, I don't know if you noticed this, but your army was two guys and they're dead. So you seek quarter? Terms of surrender? Yeah. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. 
Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. But it's just you by yourself in a Santa mask. You don't have an army. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserve the fire Kaisar blessed him with. He had a sexy voice. Now I am here and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. Okay, but then when you control the west, what are you gonna do about the east? You speak in circles. What of the east? I am the east, and I will prove it this day. No, I mean you shun technology. How are you gonna work with the east and the west together? The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The East will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Well, how are you gonna maintain the roads if you build them on bodies? You're gonna have to keep killing people and that's expensive. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? No, no, I mean, you're gonna take over this place and how are you gonna get them to do things? That does not mean we would not succeed. Your armies are wearing football padding! You don't have schools, you are doomed! The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaisar drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. Okay, good. I'm glad we had this little talk and now you've come to your senses. So you're gonna retreat now, right? Retreat? Retreat? Yes. I was a fool to listen to you. No. You know nothing of who I am. Your words have done nothing but delay the inevitable. Ugh. Now, see what my hounds and my blade will bring to you. Oh, sure. I bet a big guy like you needs dogs to help kill Queen Latifah. Does that thing obstruct your vision? <laughs> I have seen little of true battle this day. And you were brave to come here to face me when all of NCR would not. I shall honor your last words and face you alone. No man will say I refused your challenge. Okay, good call. Practical to the end, these guys. Oh no, look out, he's got a sword! Wow, he's pretty quick. That guy runs like a Cazador. Of course, he's got to stop to swing the sword and it takes like a second. Hey, Lanius! I don't know if you knew this, but we use guns in modern combat these days. You seem a little bit silly running around with your sword. Oh, look at him, poor guy. Apparently he realized the same thing. All right, Lanius, I, I know that you have a lot of pride, but I'm willing to take your surrender now. Die, no, change your mind. Gosh, look at him go. How much does that armor weigh? That guy's got to be strong. I mean, dumb, but really strong. Lanius, where are you going? Are you going to let the dogs out? I don't know if you know this, but I'm really good with the animals. Come on, bud, just put this sword down. Ouch. Gosh, he hits really hard. Well, that's it. That's all three legionaries in the entire fort. So their whole army is defeated, and I guess... I guess Mr. House wins. Gonna take his Santa hat. Well, that's Lanius. Guy's got sideburns like a champ. Bit of a Cletus goatee, too. After a brief inspection, yes. That's all that was in the fort. Out, Frank! It's the boomers again. Oh no, it's the NCR. You're really, really late, guys. Also, four soldiers is apparently overkill. You could have done it with one. Hello? Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. What? Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Oh, 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 I got a Vegas-related quip. Okay, um, it wasn't really a gamble because the, the dice were fixed. Gambling? What, you looking to start a game now that the smoke's died down? No, um, there's actually like an army of bots behind you. They showed up late too. They would have been helpful. What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. No, I got this thing printed out from Mr. House. He wants you to sign it. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas? 
What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait. Here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdrawal? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing. We just held the dam. We didn't do it to let it go. This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion. Well, you're gonna kind of have to because those things back there are actually military hardware now. And I'm pretty sure that Dr. House will kill you. You know I won't surrender the dam. And certainly not to the Ghost Man of Vegas and his new right hand of the week. Okay, I get that, but those things have missile launchers now. You know how when you break a law on the strip, the robots just shoot you? That's what's gonna happen. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard, Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me otherwise, you better have a lot more reasons than you just telling me to go. The reasons are directly behind you. I mean, come on. Think about this. True. Guess I'm a little too used to seeing Securitrons in Vegas to think they'd turn and be bad news. And I know how bad they can get. <laughs> Look. House. Vegas. It's pretty. Got you blinded a bit, maybe. But NCR's got perks, too. Think about it before you sign on with them. And if you say no, keep in mind what that means. NCR may have its problems, but when we're riled, watch out. Well, you are in better shape than the Legget. Your army consists of five guys, including yourself. This is not an army. I'm not going to throw away the lives of my men just to make a point. And there'll be other days. No, oh, dude, oh, you're walking towards me. Are you giving up? You guys know there's nothing that way, right? I double checked. It's just the base and two dead guys. No exits. Hello, Dr. House. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Dog, you. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. He'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my estimate. Aww. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. But less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Huh. Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a few months, half a year. But soon enough, the tourists and their money will be pouring in. Yay. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And so, in a single day, and with less than 30 deaths, the Battle of Hoover Dam was won. The true and clear victor at the end of it all was Mr. House, who, as promised, got the trains running on time and then began an ambitious space program. Although Mr. House became somewhat absorbed by this goal in the following years, I maintained an interest in the human stuff. With the expanded Securitron force, there wasn't really much need for the Guns of the Kings anymore, so instead, I enlisted them to help me rebuild Freeside. Since a lot of Freeside had felt alienated towards Mr. House, their support was a big deal. Unfortunately, as that work dried up, things got abrasive. Without a consistent source of income, they turned more and more to crime and violence, and I couldn't think of more ways to employ them as a unit. Eventually, Mr. House had to declare them as a criminal gang. They didn't vanish easily, but for the most part, they did vanish. Some of them found work as bouncers and security. To everyone's surprise, and the nervousness of quite a few, I was able to open up negotiations with Jacobstown. For cleaning up Vegas, we needed a lot of manual labor. And those guys were really good at it. Of course, they also wanted supplies for their insane experiments. We provided, and eventually they came to a startling conclusion. The split personalities of the Nightkin was caused by a latent Freudian fear of penises. Armed as such with this knowledge, they began treatment regiments. We made another trip out to Black Mountain, where the giant radio station was still present and operational. With Raoul's help, we were able to establish a looping broadcast that directed new mutants to Jacobstown. Afterward, he left us, saying that he liked to ramble. I tried to keep in touch, but eventually Raoul just quit sending letters. When things started to get political, Cass found herself a bit at a loss at first. 
Or at least that was the case until she realized that both the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan were destroyed. She requested a loan to restart Cassidy Caravans. I tried to give her the money, but she wouldn't have it. It didn't matter though, because with no competition, she basically took over the place. She paid us back in full in no time at all, then was responsible for virtually all of our trade networking. Eventually, I started having constant fights with her. The Boomers became a big part of that network, because aside from firearms, they had one other insanely valuable commodity, aircraft pilots. Between that and their magical ability to fix any aircraft, no matter how ridiculously damaged, we were able to clean up Camp McCarran and use it to reach out to other people. With Mr. House's Securitrons cracking down all over the Mojave, the Powder Gangers left the correctional facility and joined up with the Cons like they said they would. The Cons moved out to Wyoming, and I hear that so far they're doing pretty well. When the NCR moved out of Prim, Securitrons moved in. The place is doing really well right now. The Bison Steve Hotel has a regular stream of visitors, and every now and then I go hang out with Steve and lose at cards. I suck at gambling. Having driven the Legion away, Boone felt satisfied. He moved back to Nipton, then went back to brooding inside that dinosaur's mouth. I saved up some money and had a memorial built for Lily. She was the sweetest, biggest grandma I ever had. It wasn't just for her, though. Part of it was for me, to remember where I came from. If not for Lily, I probably never would have made it. She helped me out because she thought I was a munchkin. And now, with a lot of people kissing my butt and all kinds of money coming in, I'm not such a munchkin anymore. But I know there's still munchkins out there. I've been kidnapped, shot in the head, had my brain scooped out, and faced down two nations with nothing but my friends. Over the course of all that, what you might call heroism, I've learned to justify a lot of things that shouldn't be justified. Life is about compromises, both with yourself and with the world. And though there are many ways to the top, they all require luck and opportunity. Had that bullet hit me just a bit differently, I never would have had either of those things. I don't gamble. I was lucky once, but not lucky enough that I'd roll the dice again. But when I get a bad hand, oh man, I can bluff like crazy.